Hello guys, in this video we will learn Linux find command with examples. Find command is most frequently used command in Linux systems. We can find files by size, permissions, users, file names, file type. Let's see manual of find command in Linux. Man find. See, this is the synopsis. These are the options. Let's start with example. First example, I am going to find the txt file in my current directory. Find dot dot means current directory then hyphen name means we are searching with name then provide the file name ls dot txt what this command will do this command will check ls dot txt file in current directory and its subdirectories let's run see there is one ls dot txt file in current directory and two more ls dot txt files in subdirectories subdirectory name is training and scripts let's verify See, there is only one ls.txt and remaining from this subdirectory and another one is from the scripts direct. Suppose you want to find same ls.txt file from entire Linux file system then use find slash then hyphen name ls.txt. So it contains only three ls.txt in entire Linux operating system. Notice here my current directory contains two ls.txt files but their case is different. We have searched for only ls.txt, small ls.txt but not capital ls.txt. Why? Find is case sensitive. So to ignore this case sensitive we have to run find dot dot means current directory hyphen i name then provide the file name. Hyphen i means it ignores the case. See the output. See in the previous output it printed only three ls.txt files. But if I give i i option then it, it prints one extra txt file. See there are total four ls.txt files. Clear screen. Now find the directory. Find dot dot means current working directory then type then d. d means directory hyphen name then provide the name of the directory we want to search press enter see there is only one directory with the name training in my current directory if we want to search the entire linux file system find forward slash then hyphen type d hyphen name then this will search entire linux file system so it contains only one directory clear screen now find all dot sql files find dot hyphen type type is file f means file hyphen name then quotation star dot sql see what happens this command finds the files ended with dot sql see these four files are from my current directory and these four are from subdirectory of my current directory suppose if you want to check only this file from entire file system then use find slash hyphen type type is f f means file hyphen name then provide the file name see there is only one employee underscore dot sql control c clear screen now we will find all empty files find then give the empty what this command will do this command will check all the empty files in my current directory and its subdirectories. See, these are all empty files in my current directory and its subdirectory. Let's verify this file. Cat. See, this ls.txt file doesn't contain any data. Now we will see all empty directories. Find iPhone hyphen type d, then give the empty option. This will check all the empty directories in my current directory. These are all empty directories. Let's verify ls hyphen l then give the directory name. See total 0. 0 means this directory doesn't contain any files or folders. Clear screen. Suppose we want to find all empty directories in entire Linux file system then use the same command then replace this dot with slash checking all the files in entire Linux system. Control C to cancel. Clear screen. Suppose you want to check all the files 
with the permissions 777 in home directory then use the command find provide the directory name then type f then perm 777 what this command will do this command will find all the files in home directory with the permissions 777 hyphen prm means permissions then press enter see there is only one file with 77 let's verify ls hyphen l see this file contains all read write and executable permissions if you want to find all the files accept permissions 77 simply copy this and put the exclamation see these are all the files with without 77 permission in home direct clear screen now we will find all the files with the permissions 777 and replace them with 644 find hyphen type f pom 77 exe exe means execute ch mod 644 then open and close curly braces then space then slash then give the semicolon now i will explain what this command will do first this command will check all the files with the permissions 777 then then this command will perform ch mode 644 on this command output let's run see it has changed the files which contain 77 to 644 let's verify see these are the files with 644 let's verify see for this file we have 777 but we have changed it to 644 r means 4 w means 2 so 644 clear screen now find the file and remove it find dot type f then provide hyphen name ls dot txt until now this command searches for capital ls dot txt file if it found then execute remove operation rm hyphen f then semicolon see this command will check capital ls dot txt file is there or not if it is there then it removes press enter so that file has gone now find all the files belongs to user or to schools find dot hyphen user hyphen user means username hyphen user then provide the username these are the all the files belongs to user or to schools clear screen now find all the files from multiple directories find slash home r2 schools then slash home r2 schools then training then hyphen name then provide file name ls dot txt this will check all the files from these two directories so it has printed all the files from these directories clear screen now find all txt files what this command will do this command will check all the files ends with dot txt these are all the files with dot txt clear screen now we will now we will check all the files without dot txt find dot hyphen type f not hyphen name star dot txt what this command will do this command will check all the files not ends with dot txt see these are all non dot txt files clear screen now we will check all the read only files find root pom pom means permissions then u equals to r we don't have permission but if you have permission then it will print all read only files in the same way if you want to check all the executable files then replace r with x same error now we will find files by size find dot size plus 50 m what this command will do this command will check all the files size greater than 50 megabytes see there is only one file in my current directory the file size is greater than 50 let's verify the size of this file see its a size is more than 50 megabytes 
Suppose if you want to find the file size exactly 50 megabytes, then use the command find dot size 50 m. Here we are not giving any symbol. See, there are two files exactly with 50 megabytes. Let's verify them. See, these two file size is 50 megabytes. Suppose if you want to find files with size less than 50, then use the command find dot size minus 50 m. m is megabytes. So this will find all the files less than 50. See, now I will explain one more time. Plus hyphen size plus means greater than the given file size. If no symbol provided, then it will check exact size. If minus 50 means it will check the less than specified size. Press enter. See, these are all the files with less than 50 megabytes. Now find the files by modified time. Now we will see the file modified 10 days ago. Find dot hyphen m time 10, which means it will check the all the files modified 10 days ago. Let's see. ls hyphen n. See, timestamp is December 7. Current time is 17 December 20. So modified time is more than 10 days. Clear screen. If you want to check all the files modified in last 10 days, simply remove this hyphen and use the m time then 10. See, these are all modified in last 10 days. Let's verify. See, date is 9th December and today date is 18 December. So difference is 9 days. Let's find all the top 5 largest files in my current working directory. Find dot type hyphen type f execute ls dot ls hyphen s as means size open close curly braces then pipe sort hyphen n hyphen r then pipe head minus 5. So this command will list all the files and sorts by size and lists the top 5 largest 5 files. See it is checking. So it will take time. I am cancelling this one. In your case wait until output comes. The same way if you want to get smallest files simply remove this R and press enter. Again it is taking time. It will check all the files in my current working directory. See. These are all smallest files in my current working directory. Clear screen. Now we are going to find the files and remove them. Let's, let's verify the files. Name contains R2 schools and ends with .txt. See, these two files are there with R2 schools .txt. Let's remove them. Find dot type f name. Copy this string and execute ls hyphen l hyphen execute remove rm what this command will do first it will check the list of the files ends with autoschools.txt then it will print the files in terminal then it will remove the those files press enter see yeah see here error is we have to provide See, we have to provide the name, the file name in quotations. One more time, I will explain. Until this command, it will check the all the files ends with r2schools.txt. Then it will print all the files on the terminal. Then it will remove the files. Let's run. See, current directory contains these two files and then it removed. Let's verify whether those files are there or not. See, those files are gone. So, in this example, we have seen how to find and delete the files using find command. Now, find the files by size and remove them. Find dot hyphen type size plus 100m. 
ls hyphen l rm hyphen rm space hyphen f see compare the previous and this example see what this command will do first find all the files later than 100 megabytes and removes them in the previous example it finds files by name in this example it finds files by size greater than 100 megabytes then it will print the list of the files contains size more than 100 megabytes and it will remove them see let's run i have forgot to give the type param type option see there is one only one file with the size more than 100 megabytes this is the file and it removed let's verify this file is there or not see that file has gone now last example we will find the all dot mp3 files and remove them find f hyphen name mp3 or see the list of the mp3 files i have two mp3 files now i am going to remove the mp3 files whose size is greater than 25 megabytes then provide the size 25 m m is megabytes then execute ls hyphen l it will print list of the files greater than 25 megabytes then perform the action remove hyphen f press enter see i will explain one more time first it will find all the files with mp3 and size is greater than 25 megabytes then it will list the files on the terminal then it removes the files from this current working directory last command check the manual of find command see this is the manual so in this video we have seen different linux find command with examples for more linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you